internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. This probably looks a little different today because we use different uh, platforms of technology to do it. But I'm on with Joseph Holtz. Can you hear me, Joseph? I can, I can. Success. Right here in Reno, Nevada. Oh my God, we need a we need a drum roll for that. <laughs> Perfect, wonderful, yay! So Joseph, where you're in Nevada? Yeah, Reno. Reno. Reno, Nevada. I don't know if I've ever been there. Is that by Lake Tahoe? Yes, yes it is. Okay, then I have about been there. half an hour, 40 minutes from Lake Tahoe. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. How yeah, long definitely. how long you lived out there? I've been out here 18 years now. Woo! Okay. Yeah, a while. <laughs> yeah. It's I'd... time to get out. It's about time to explore and get out. You want to go to Costa Rica? That would be amazing. That's what that I'm working on. I'm working on a project in Costa Rica. I'm doing an event center down there so we can do like yoga retreats and masterminds and cacao ceremonies and all that kind of groovy stuff. That sounds right up my alley. Cool. Well, I'm here in yeah. Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've been in the same house. I lived in the same house for 53 years, got married, moved to the west side. Then we went to Asheville for a couple of years. Now we're back in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Deep roots. Can't, can't leave. <laughs> we like it here. Right on. Yeah, I've never been out there. <laughs> It'll be worth a trip. We got a good spiritual community up there. So, Joseph, what is it that you do for your life's work? Well, for for work, I am a forklift driver for doing what I love, which I feel is most important. I do YouTube and I promote happiness, love, light, and joy. I got a guy that, uh, that he, <laughs> there's a friend of mine that uh, is out on the East Coast. He calls himself the Orange Cowboy. That's, that's how he starts his podcast each time is joy, joy, joy. <laughs> very cool what, what got you into that well it's what i love it's what i love i love giving people smiles i love uh spreading love and spreading that people can accomplish their dreams no matter what if you do not give up you will accomplish sure your dreams. i'm a big believer of that it's like persistence if you, you can't fail if you don't quit right yeah exactly exactly yeah, so Along with promoting it to other people, this is also me doing it myself because my dream is just to plant seeds within people, seeds of enlightenment, se seeds of love and light where, you know, they will be able to accomplish that. And I'm going to accomplish mine with them. They're all helping me with that as well. Got it. So do you have a, like an address of how to, how to go to your YouTube channel or how do they find you on YouTube? Uh, my YouTube is True Dreamwalker Dragonheart with an eight at the end of it. Ooh. And uh, it's all one word. Uh, so far, I've got about six videos up right now. Today, I'm going to put out another one on eight very powerful, extremely powerful affirmations. So, yeah, that one's going to be fun to do. Okay. <laughs> when we're done with this, if you could kind of email that to me, because I can't remember it in my head, but I'll put that link on there. I'll find your YouTube channel. I'll put it on the, the videos that we keep here. Cool. Right on. Right on. Yeah, I can definitely do that. So are you married and you got kids? Are you single, wild, and crazy? What's up? Um, I'm only 26 years old. Okay. Uh, I, as of right now, I decided to move out, and I've pretty much been camping for a month in my vehicle, and I was debating whether I want to buy a van and just live van life here okay. for a little bit. Yeah, so I'd really like to be able to travel and spread my uh, awareness and consciousness elsewhere, my inner truths elsewhere. And, uh, yeah, I got a friend that like, did that. Um, she was, she was like a nomad. She, she didn't live in her van, but she operated out of it and she would travel the world, go to yeah. Thailand and Bali and in Korea and Mexico and all those different places. She would buy their crafts and their jewelry and stuff. And then she brought it back to Minneapolis and she worked the Minneapolis farmer's market during the summer. And that's how she made yeah. money. And then she'd go out and travel again. It's pretty fascinating life. Yeah, yeah, and see, I'd, I'd really love to get out there and just explore as much as I can, so. <laughs> Where have you been so far? Uh, so just... far, I haven't been out of country. I've been to Florida, I drove through Florida to see the ocean out there. Uh, okay. Philadelphia, uh, I was born out in Woodstock, Illinois, so I'm kind of from out there. <laughs> I've, I've been there. Well, me and my wife went up the East Coast and stayed in Woodstock, New York. And then we, on the way back, we, uh, on a trip back, we, um, we didn't go to Woodstock, but we wanted to, and we ended up yeah. stopping in Woodstock, Illinois. So we did go to Woodstock. 
<laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I had a family who had an orchard out there for like 30 years, Quig's Apple Orchard. It was pretty cool. They ended up shutting it down, though. <laughs> oh, that stuff happens. Everything cycles, yeah. doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So what but do you yeah, have? In- I, uh, I've been out here for about 18 years now, and I love I love this side of the country. There's a lot to do. I go mining for crystals and quartz and stuff. There's lakes all around us, especially Tahoe. Tahoe's just beautiful. You ever so, go to that? Uh, there's a big um, uh, crystal um, like convention at, in Sedona every year. You ever go to that? I have not. I yeah. have not. It's a big thing, I guess. That's where everybody goes to the big Sedona crystal. I don't care what it's called, like the Crystal Festival or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to have to cool. check that out. You I'm, are going to have to be. I'm very into rocks and uh, energy healing and whatnot. So, yeah, that's that's definitely right up my alley as well. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that would be good. to. I, I've been to, like my first trip out of the country was, was uh, Brazil and then did Jamaica and then Mexico and Hawaii and Thailand and Bali is beautiful. If you ever get a chance to get over to Bali, that's a beautiful place. But now Costa Rica is the the plan. <laughs> that sounds – it looks beautiful out there. <laughs> well, I think you dig Costa Rica in that uh, they don't have an army. They give up the army and they put the money into education. That's amazing. And uh, they're that's... 90% uh, sustainable through water energy. Yeah. That's my place to be. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I want to live, truly. That's I, self-sustained? I feel, yeah. The less I have, the happier I am. I feel that the more uh, physical things that we hold on to, sometimes it just weighs us down. Exactly. So, <laughs> I lighten the load, too. In fact, uh, my, I bought the lightest MacBook computer. I got the little MacBook Air here, and this is my <laughs> office. I try and stay real. I do a lot of video stuff, so my tripod collapses into a one-foot tripod keep it in my little bag i keep everything tight too nice nice i even got my own audience here see keep my own self-contained audience (laughs) that way i don't have to have a i don't need a tour bus for all my groupies they're right here in this little box (laughs) (laughs) that's a good idea you have to have that fun stuff those little fun things that make you laugh and smile. <laughs> I agree. I mean, you talk to some people and, you know, they got millions of dollars, but they're not happy. They're not healthy. You know, if you don't yeah. have your happiness and your health, what's the point, right? Well, yeah. It, you know, it all comes from within. Exactly. Your happiness starts from within. That reminds me of a joke. <laughs> if I can remember this joke, oh, uh, there was a, a yogi walked up to a, a in New York, he's going to get a hot dog from a hot dog vendor, and he says, make me one with everything. <laughs> get it? <laughs> That's funny. And then he gave him the money, but he didn't give him change. And he says, hey, what's up here? How come there's no change? He goes, change comes from within. <laughs> there you go, a little bit of yogi humor. Well, is there anything else you want to pass on, how to get a hold of you and how to find your YouTube channel? Are there any keywords that we can search for on the internet to find out what you're up to? Um, As of right now, I think, well, one of my biggest videos is the benefits of being barefoot. It's nature's acupuncture. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I think that's my most watched video right now. And uh, you can search like benefits of being barefoot. Barefoot, <laughs> loving being barefoot, barefoot life. Sure, that's kind of like reflexology because people talk about that. They go in there to do it, all that stuff. So why not just do it yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much barefoot everywhere I go unless I have to go into a store. <laughs> you put on the flip-flops, right? Yeah. You, ever, you can walk <laughs> on your hands. I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> it's that yoga. It's all that yoga. Got it, got it. Well, I don't do these too long because people have that commodity of time that's, uh, you know, they seem not to have enough of it. So I'm going to sign this one off and then beam it up to the universe. I appreciate you being patient with our uh, technology issues, but I'm going to yeah, sign yeah. this off and put it up to the universe. So I appreciate you taking the time, Joseph. Yeah, thank you for giving me your time. I was really excited for this all week. I love connecting <laughs> with new people. And, uh, yeah, if you ever want to do another video, I look forward to It's fun. To if, if you want to connect with me on good old Facebook, I'm on Facebook a lot. Right on. I will, okay. I will definitely do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you, uh, send you those links. And, uh, yeah, until next time, friend. Okay. Thanks, Joseph. Peace. Thank you.